Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rosalyn Wanjiko. What do we do here? Personal development, spiritual and relationship wellness matters. And on this episode, guys, we are talking about work and mental health. We are also talking about the question of happiness. We know it's only now that uh, people are adapting to the, to the culture of therapy, but I decided to bring it onto the streets. I want to hear what guys have to say about happiness. Are they happy with what they are doing on their day-to-day -day lifestyle? you know at work in their relationships so guys let's go and explore let's hear different ideas from different people we have the privilege of hosting an amazing lady and we'll just give her like a few minutes to introduce herself then we can continue with our question of the day hi hi there how are you <laughs> good introduce hi. yourself hi there my name is natasha i'm a mom of one mm -hmm. and i'm a born again christian amazing. and I'm a sales representative at African Lifestyle Hub at Sarit Center Fast Flow. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's me. Amazing. Thank you so much for giving us this opportunity mm -hmm. uh, and giving us time off your busy schedule. Mm -hmm. It's such an honor. And guys, it is so nice to, you know, meet a born again Christian lady. And first of all, their shop is beautiful. They have amazing products. You guys have amazing products, especially the notebooks. I'm like, oh, Jesus, I should have known <laughs> what I'm walking into. But anyway, we always have more time to yeah. do this. So yeah. guys, um, today we are asking Natasha, is she really happy with her life? Am you I? Know, are you? Am I? <laughs> so we are going to ask her a few questions and she's going to rate herself just to tell us and just to tell herself to assess yourself mm -hmm. on you know how happy you are up okay. to now okay. you know so the first question is in most ways your life is close to ideal do you think your life is ideal out of seven i'll give it um a three mm -hmm. it's not ideal per se yeah but one step one step at a time mm. i'm learning to fight my fears Love that. i'm learning to just do it scared. Let me mm. just put it like that. Mm. If it's, it's those things that I never used to do because I was scared, I was shy, I was never confident. Mm. And now I'm like, ah, what will it cost? Absolutely. What will, what it, will cost? it cost? I mean, and everything let's costs give, exactly. something. Exactly. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a shot. Mm. And yeah, as we head there, but no, it's not an ideal one, mm -hmm. but one step at a time. So let me ask concerning that particular question, mm -hmm. what were your childhood dreams? Let's say around high school. Mm -hmm. What was your like goal eventually? My goal from even from primary, mm -hmm. my goal was to be a doctor. Okay. That's why I took all the three sciences. Mm, to really? Oh yes. Okay. And I did well. Mm -hmm. But again, yeah. finances here and there, mm -hmm. I wasn't able to pursue my dreams. Yeah. But yeah, but I don't regret. Amazing. I'm sure we'll get there. Yeah, and the other thing is, by the way, in psychology, mm -hmm. we are much more than just one thing. Mm -hmm. You know, one time you think you want to be a doctor, but then when you explore a bit more, you realize there are so many yes. other fronts, there are so many other things you could do. Exactly. And so, first of all, make sure you do a personality test if you have never, okay. well. so that uh, you see the possibilities of what else you could expand yourself to. Okay. Amazing. So that's what? We gave it a three. Yeah, a three. Amazing. So the conditions of my life are excellent. What would you say? Do I also rate it? Yeah, rate it out of, out of seven. I'll just give it five. Five? Yeah. Uh -huh. The condition right now? Mm. Mm. It's not an ideal one. It's not excellent the way we want to put it. Mm. But I'm okay where I am. Love that. It's not excellent, mm. but I'm okay because mm. this is where God has placed me. Ooh. And I'm sure mm. if you're not even comfortable where you are now, you won't be able to move. I love that so much you because, be able to because you know, that speaks into life is not about where you are, it's about how you choose, how you to, choose perceive to perceive it. it. Because there are so many things we desire to have in life, mm -hmm. but w w the attitude you choose to carry life with, you can choose to carry life with a lot of regrets a lot of heart, a lot of baggage from the past, mm -hmm. but you choose to carry it with the attitude of hope and belief that, you know, God is still in this still story, in this, yes. you know, and I'm amazing. Hopeful. And I'm very hopeful. And God we'll is going, there. you know, by the way, the Bible says not that you're a born again Christian. The Bible says that the expectations of the righteous are not, are not cut short. You know, God does not cut short the, the expectations of the righteous. So we believe that you will get there. Amen. We Thank might you. not be excellent, <laughs> but I mean, you're on your way there. Oh, yes. Right. So number three, I'm satisfied with my life. 
I am. Okay. Yeah, that you answers, know? you yes. know. I, I mean, your second answer, I think. Yeah. So let's read it out of seven. I'll give it a seven. Seven. Ooh, I'm, I have, I'm happy for you. I'm not sick. Mm, ooh, I'm telling you. Because uh, nowadays, yes. nowadays life, life proves to be extremely like short. Exactly. And anything can happen anytime. Anytime. So you need to rejoice in your today. Mm -hmm. Amazing. So, so far, I have gotten the important things I want in life for you. Not everything, but I've gotten God and my daughter. Those mm. are important oh. things in my life. Mm. For now, they are important. For now. Yeah, yeah. for and now. Because yes. going forward, I mean, forward. the future is in God's hands. It, yes. And you believe that uh, he has a blueprint for your life. For my life. So, however it comes, you believe that God's got you. Yes. I believe so too for you. So, we've given it, huh? I'll I have gotten important things in life. Five? Yes. All right, so number five, last but not least, if I could live my life over, I would change almost nothing. Would you say that for yourself? Would you change anything about your life? I will never change anything about my life. Mm -hmm. As painful as it was, the traumas, yeah. the the scars that I have, because I have a lot of scars, mm. and sometimes I usually don't want even to talk about them. Yeah. But I, 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 I usually say thank you to God because He allowed it for me just to pass through it and experience everything I went through. Mm. So, and I've learned some lessons. Yeah. As much as they were painful, they they gave me a lot of trauma. Yeah. But no, I won't change anything. Mm. I wouldn't, not even for a second. So for you, the experiences have built up all that you are today yes even even if i think if i didn't go through those experiences mm. i wouldn't be who are you, who who I, you are yes. today because yeah. now i got confident i knew how to how to to fight for myself amazing yeah so what's that one thing now that you said you're a mom have you rated this one no out of seven i'll give it a seven Ooh, girl oh, yes. you're doing well I'll give it you're a doing seven. well a woman of faith is doing well here <laughs> Seven. So in total, I think we can give it, um, so that's seven, that's five, that's twelve. Mm -hmm. And then uh, this one you gave it a three. A three. So 13, 14, 15. This one you gave it a five, if I'm not wrong. Mm -hmm. That's 20. Mm -hmm. I'm satisfied with my life, you said? I said five. Five. That's 25 out of 35. Oh, yes. That's good. That feels like above average. I'm above average. Ooh. <laughs> and you're above average, even like on other matters just be because you have decided you have chosen to look at life in that way because i believe it's not like your life is void of mm -hmm. difficult experiences mm -hmm. i know sometimes you you sleep and you're like oh god how am i gonna face tomorrow but you know just because you have chosen to look at life in a positive light it makes life easier for you mm -hmm. so um this this question i was asking last week and i think maybe we should exploit just a little bit how do you feel every morning coming to work to be honest, mm. I don't like it. Mm. But you know, I have to wake up and just do what I have to do. Because yeah. bills need to be paid. I know. But if I was given uh, another alternative, mm. I wouldn't be here. Yeah. No. What's the other thing that you think you'd do? Apart from, you said your childhood dream was to be a doctor. Yeah. What's the other alternative you think you'd pursue now that you're here? What's the other thing that you think you'd pursue going forward? Interior designing and also fashion. Nice. Oh, yes. And I've enrolled. Okay. Oh, yes. you've enrolled? Exactly. Love that. So we see you're working towards I'm working your towards, dream. Yes. Amazing. I love that so much, Natasha. Thank you so much for giving us your well. views. I, I know somebody will learn something from you. Mm -hmm. Guys, remember to come to their shop here at Sarit Center. They have amazing, amazing stuff. They have lady clothes they have bags and beautiful unique bags they have notebooks and she has such a beautiful spirit mm -hmm. honestly you need to come and interact with her i think you're an amazing mom by the way thank you we need we need <laughs> positive minded people like you thank by the i'm not even gassing you up i think you're an amazing mom and you're going to raise a beautiful amazing daughter who is god fearing we wish you the very best Especially in, t in interior design, continue doing what you want to do. Oh, yes. Continue pursuing it. We know you'll get there. Because if you're being faithful in what you have now, as much as it's not yours, when you get to yours, God is going to expand, expand. you even more because yeah. you've been faithful with what you have now. So thank you so much. Thank you as well. I God bless you. you. Bless as well. Thank you. And do it scared, guys. Amazing. Do it scared. Period. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. The question is, 
how happy are you and we are so honored to host uh, one of our guests and we'll give him an opportunity to introduce himself hi hi what's your name my name is Collins mm -hmm. Nyole Collins all right and um, also happy to be here thank you so much for giving us this opportunity and uh, we all know Collins that people have a challenge to date especially in African countries uh, on the practice of therapy first of all um, are you up for therapy currently currently Currently, I'm okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just okay. <laughs> you don't feel like you need to go for sessions? No, so me, I believe in the traditional way. Uh -huh. <laughs> just screaming and uh, music. Uh -huh. I feel like music is my therapy and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Amazing. So today we are asking ourselves the question, how happy are we really? You know, we know there's a lot happening that people don't really discuss, you know, in our families, in our places and all that and uh, so maybe we will use some several questions okay. so you can rate yourself and we'll see how you're doing okay so number one is in most ways my life is close to ideal so do you think your life is close to ideal you know everyone has childhood dreams mm -hmm. and all that so do you think you're anywhere close to what you always dreamt to be mm, i'll say not yet uh -huh. but uh out of seven out of seven, I'll say maybe four. Four? Yes. Okay, so we have four in mind. Yes. The second question is the conditions of my life are excellent. Conditions of my life are excellent. <laughs> <laughs> no. Obviously. <laughs> no. Uh -huh. Out of seven? Out of seven, three. Three? Okay, that's not too bad. Yes. I'm satisfied with my life. Satisfied with my life? Yes. I'm satisfied. Amazing. With my life. Ooh, good for you. Yeah. I know that's not <laughs> most people. <laughs> So, out of seven? Out of seven, I'll say five. Five, yes. good. That's really nice. So far, I have gotten the important things I want in life. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> but no. you're headed there. Yes. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, what would you rate yourself? Um, uh, I'll say four. Four. Yeah. So, we have four and three. That's seven. We have five. That's twelve. Mm. We have, uh, the last time you said? Uh, was it? It was three. So far, I have three. Yes. So that's fifteen. Okay. So last but not least, mm -hmm. if I could live my life over, I would change almost nothing. Is that your case? <sighs> or do you have things you feel you'd do better, maybe? If I would relive my life. Mm. And uh kona brains and kona I will change a lot of things. A lot maybe, of things maybe, to change. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's some things in some delicious like uh, mm -hmm. maybe in the maybe in the super funny kitchambo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think it will change. It will change some a bit of stuff. Absolutely, and we really appreciate your your like authenticity and you. you know how how genuine you are in answering some of these questions. Yeah. So maybe let me ask. Um, now that you have gone through, so out of seven, how would you rate that? Uh, out of seven, mm -hmm. I'd say six. Changing stuff? Definitely. For real? Yes. Okay, so six for you would love to change stuff? Yeah. Okay, so that's 15. We had 15 plus six mathematicians, that's 21. 21, yes. 21 out of 35. So these are questions mm -hmm. that a psychologist in uh, University of Illinois came up with yeah. just to help us understand how we're doing in our day-to-day -day lives. Mm -hmm. And I decided to bring it to the general public, especially people who are not very comfortable with going for therapy. And I know men are not, guys. It wasn't easy even getting him here, <laughs> so we really appreciate his time. <laughs> and uh, maybe... Would you, do you think at some point in life you would consider therapy? Therapy? Mm -hmm. Why? Therapy, therapy. What's the hardest part? Because clearly it's difficult. Opening up. Uh -huh. Opening up. Opening <laughs> up. <laughs> like because it leads to a professional. Yeah. Where did you, where did you at? Is, is there information in your mind and come as it a kufunga or something? Mm -hmm. So, so you know, it's too hard just to open up and to say, stuff in your mind and to trouble. Mm -hmm. no, so. so what would you advise young people who are going through a lot of stuff? Because, because we can see that most people right now mm -hmm. are uh, like young people, they are either like uh, diverting to drugs or, you know, just self-destructive behavior. Yeah. What would you advise them? 
when it comes uh, to coping with life's challenges? Life challenges. Yeah. Just talk to someone. Okay. I believe I believe in talking to people. Mm-hmm. Uh, as much as you know, as much as silas mm-hmm. the therapy. Mm-hmm. Just talk to someone. Have it a might community. be a brother, it might be a cousin, it might be a friend. Mm-hmm. Just talk to someone. Mm-hmm. So eventually atakusaidia mm-hmm. mahali au utamsaidia mahali and then life in a song. That's for sure. Yeah. Thank you so much Collins for giving us your time. Thank you. If you want to uh, support his business also, he's located here uh, in Sarit Center, a shop called Umoja, right? Yes. They sell shoes. They have amazing shoes and they are affordable. Maybe you can just show them what they have. Just take it down so they can see what they have. And uh, I'm sure you're going to love their products. Come and shop with them. They're very affordable. And uh, we believe you're going to get to where you desire to get in life. Just keep pushing. And just